There is a bit of an unemployment crisis at the FAA tonight. A political dispute in Congress is holding up a deal to fund the agency. Now, the partial shutdown that began 10 days ago could last into September. It's not a safety issue. Mostly it's airport construction projects that have been stopped. But about 74,000 workers have been laid off. With Washington about as polarized as ever, there was one moment of absolute unity last night. Politicians of every stripe rose and applauded as Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford stepped onto the House floor for the first time since she was shot in January. Nancy Cordes is at the Capitol where they are still talking about it. We all want to welcome back our wonderful colleague, Congresswoman Giffords, here. And that, with that, I get back. What made the moment so magical was that it was so unexpected. The vote had almost ended when a smattering of applause broke out. Listen to it build as members realize the Arizona Democrat is in the chamber. They stand up to catch a glimpse and soon she's surrounded. Thank you, thank you, she mouths as colleagues gingerly embrace her. Some overcome by emotion, like her close friend and fellow Democrat, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. So, you know, I think she, she just fulfilled the hopes and dreams of all of her colleagues, and I'm sure her constituents too. Giffords returned to Congress to support a debt deal that had left this town sour and exhausted. And then when she voted, and that green light lit up next to her name, indicating that she had cast her vote, uh, it was as if to say, Gabby is back. Of course, Congressman Steve Israel knows she isn't quite back and won't be for some time. Giffords is still undergoing intensive physical therapy in Houston after being shot in the head in a Tucson rampage that killed six. She, so she's actually walking very well now. Her chief of staff, Pia Carason, was at the congresswoman's side last night. It was a very proud moment for her. Um, it was really the only vote that's mattered since the shooting, and she didn't want to miss it. Carasone confirmed today that Team Giffords is laying the groundwork for a re-election bid in 2012, so Giffords can run again if she feels ready. Scott? Thank you, Nancy.